This video was made possible through the support of the Wandering Wind by viewers like you. Thank you. By subscribing to this channel and possibly donating, you can help me create more awesome videos in the future. If you decide to do that, I thank you very much. Have a great day. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. I've got some great news for you, some updates that I've been wanting to be able to share with you guys for a couple of days now. So, first of all, um, I am going to be doing that four of my computers set up tomorrow. I have put it off because I've been having a lot of different stuff going on recently, but tomorrow is the day. But, in the meantime, I want to tell you about something awesome that just happened. So, literally yesterday, I got a call from my uh, caseworker through the employment, uh, the, uh, uh, well, it's like an employment agency, but it's for disabled people trying to get back to work. And she talked to me, she ran me through a mock interview and told me about a couple of companies that I could apply for that could possibly hire me for a position as a work from home kind of thing. So yesterday I applied for a company called, um, uh, well, I don't know what it's called, but they have an operation where they run um, call center like stuff and you take incoming calls from people calling in to donate to a Christian charity. Um, they work with the homeless and with the disadvantaged. They use the money that they get donated to go out and minister and help those that are in need. And I got an interview next week. I got an interview t on Tuesday of next week at 1.30 p.m. So here's hoping I do well and here's hoping I get the job because... I looked at the requirements, I looked at what they want as far as their workers to be able to have as far as qualities, and I think I fit the bill. I hope I fit the bill that they want me to fit, because I really think that this would be a good job, a good, a good thing for me, and a good thing for everybody else. Because I won't be necessarily mooching off of you guys anymore, because I've got a confession. I have been using my YouTube channel as an excuse to beg for money. Maybe not as much as I used to, but definitely I have been begging for money. And that does include somewhat with Sunset Skies. Now, I am still developing it, but I originally just used the money that I got for Sunset Skies to cover the bills that we needed covered. But I did eventually actually, well, part of the, part of the money I got. I did eventually actually use the bulk of the money to pay for what I needed in order to be able to start development, though. But um, the reason I'm confessing this is also, starting last Monday, I've started attending a support group for people that have, have problems with addiction and stuff, and I do have quite a few addictions, including an alcohol problem. And I've been reluctant to admit that because, well, I don't spend a whole lot of money on alcohol. Well, I don't usually, I don't usually get it. I get it very sparingly. But when I do get alcohol, it goes quick. It doesn't stay in the house very long because it's all in my stomach and then through my system. And that's not a healthy thing. That's not a good thing. And that's not the right thing. So... Um, I've got, I'm I started going to a support group to help me with my issues. And one of the steps of the 12 step program that they use, step number four is making a list of everything that we've done wrong to be able to admit to it and admit to the fact that we have done things to fuel our habit that are not healthy and are not beneficial for anybody. And that's the only thing that I have to really confess that involves you guys is that those of you that donated to Sunset Skies, part of that money went to my own personal use rather than towards the game like I said it would. And that's my fault. That's my, that was my choice and that's my fault. I admit that. But moving forward, I'm going to be spending every... Spare moment I have 
dedicated to developing sunset skies so that hopefully by December 25th, I've got not just a demo, but the full game ready for you guys. It might be cut down compared to what I wanted to put in it. I will, however, may be making updates to the game and you will be able to see the inclusion of new um, content, new areas to explore, stuff like that. Maybe even DLC of post-game or, you know, side game content as well. But I will be, de I will be developing a full release, at least, of the majority of the story for December 25th. I want to do that because I want to make things right, and this is part of the way I do that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day because I'm having a great day. I'm, I'm so much better now. I'm doing so much better. I'm, I'm learning so much more about where I need to be versus where I am. And I think that's the... I think that's honestly the key to all of this. That's the key. It's just learning more. Anyway, I hope you had a great week. I hope you're having a great day. And I will see you guys again tomorrow because... With this new job, I'm probably going to go for a second shift um, time schedule. So I will be streaming in the mornings, not in the evenings or afternoons even. Because I want to actually still stream, but I don't want it to conflict with either my work schedule or my evening schedule of bathing, cleaning, getting, getting ready for bed, and then getting a good night's sleep. So... That's the way I'm going to do it. Filming in the mornings, streaming in the mornings, everything else during the afternoon and evening. But anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I thank you guys so very much for being here, for being a part of my day, for supporting me, and for just being yourselves. You're awesome, and I appreciate you guys so very much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. God bless, and have a wonderful week, too.